The cool part about this whole thing here, Patrick, is Robert McIntyre goes out, gets his first career PGA Tour victory, kind of stamps a new era of his career, and he does it with his dad on the bag. And this was a really cool progression because there was very little emotion from uh, Papa McIntyre for the vast majority of the week. And then it kind of all came out in that interview afterwards. Oh, I'm just a grass cutter. It, it was it was a very cool scene. Bobby McIntyre's fourth caddy in his last 18 months. We talked about him having all the game in the world, but to his own admission, he said he had to look at the man in the mirror and he realized he had an attitude problem, right? He, he thought his game should be in a much better place. But as Greg referenced, the starts this year on the PGA Tour, they've been pretty dreadful, to tell you the truth, outside this last month. But you look at his major championship resume, and he has four top 12 finishes and 13 starts. So the game is obviously there. And then you throw in good vibes, perhaps, maybe less pressure, just home, the strokes game to home life. He's talked about a lot, just moving from Scotland over to the United States, how difficult that is. And just having a sense of familiarity back on the bag with your dad and maybe taking some relief off it, right? It's like, oh, my dad's on the golf bag this week. I can go through the process slower. I can go through the process on my own terms, do all the yardages myself, and just have a good time with the old man. Rick, I said on HQ, it's an accomplishment enough for a competitive golfer to get through 72 holes with their father on the golf bag. It is Sometimes not a fun experience. It was obviously a very fun experience for them this week. I think he's going to be one for one in his career. Mr. McIntyre might have to retire after this, obviously. Uh, but yeah, just just an awesome story and really cool to see the emotion from from both of them afterwards. C could you imagine if Mr. McIntyre was like, uh, come, come on, let me, let me show you how to do it. Let me, let me I'll show you how to do it. I got, I got some tips for you here, right? Never lost. Classic, <laughs> classic dad. Um, Greg, you know, the, we, we know and, and have been, um, learning more and more about this recently that, that golf professional golf is very lonely and it is especially lonely for European players trying to make it on the PGA tour, whether they are going back and forth between the DP world tour, whether they are now coming over here and trying to find their bearings for the first time. And where am I staying? And I'm on the road and I don't have a support system. Having pops on the bag is just like, okay, some level of like comfortability. I've got a familiar face. All good. Let me just reset, refocus. And he's specifically mentioned being lonely before which I imagine definitely uh, gives him a little bit of uh, relief from, from that aspect, right? Because all of a sudden home comes to you, which is, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's the man that taught him how the, the grass cutter that taught him how to play the game, right? There's a element of, I would imagine kind of getting back into the fundamentals, right? They talk about the pace that you're swinging at. These are, these are things that dads teach their sons. They're, they're much more basic than what a professional swing coach is probably uh, teaching a, a high level player like Bobby McIntyre. So those things are certainly uh, relieving. They make the situation seem much easier. Uh, and they make it seem like you're just playing golf again, which is really cool. And I imagine it had a big impact on, on uh, Robert. Now I cannot imagine what Mr. McIntyre was feeling. If, I mean, just to see your your son or daughter accomplish anything, right? A, a nice drawing from kindergarten or catching a baseball for the first time is so exciting as a parent. Uh, and I can't imagine having your son on the PGA Tour and winning with you alongside every single step. It's just uh, uh, incredible stuff and so moving. I think that's why afterwards they were largely at a loss for words.